and welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway? And in a desperate attempt this week to drum up some sales in the United States of America, we present an almost all-American show, featuring, first of all, Ryan Stiles, a Canadian of the Second City Theatre Company in Los Angeles, Josie Lawrence of the Comedy Store Players, who come from somewhere near Birmingham, Alabama, Neil Malarkey, also of the Comedy Store Players, whose cousin once went on a trip to New York, <laughs> and finally, Mike McShane from Taunton. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. Well, we haven't started yet. Uh, but our first game is called Film and Theatre Styles. They break into two pairs for this, starting off, first of all, with Josie and Neil. So, Josie and Neil like to come down. Uh, they're going to improvise a scene. I'll give them in just a moment. But first of all, we'd like some suggestions, please, of some different film and theatre styles for them to cut into as we go along. Anybody got any suggestions? Horror. Science fiction. I'm on horror, science fiction. There's two traditional... Ibsen. Ibsen. Yes, that's good. I heard neighbours. <laughs> Neighbours, obviously your friend in the audience wants neighbours, for some reason. No, they want Westerns. Didn't we have that... F no, no, no. We Gangster. Gangster. Right, I think we've got loads there. So your situation is, uh, Josie and Neil, you're the first two people on Earth. Start off with no particular style, and I'll cut it with some in a minute. <gasps> <laughs> so this is Earth? This is Earth. My name will be... What shall it be? I'll just clear this log away. Eve! Oh. Why, it's a wheel. Oh. <laughs> so it is, a damn wheel. Yes. yes. I'll be Eve and you be Adam. And we shall propulate. Gangster. Propulate? He said to me menacingly. Yeah. Hey, look what I got over here. It's an apple. I found it on the ground. An apple? Is that from Big Schmoozer up there? That's from Big Schmoozer. Or is that the Big Serpent down there? The Big Serpent? I don't know any Big Serpent. <laughs> You've been talking to Big Serpent, eh? No, no, no. Jeez, that's not me. I don't know any Big Serpent. Jeez, honest, honest. Excuse me, what's that little log doing there? Yeah. <laughs> You've been talking to the Big Serpent, haven't you? Oh, gosh, no. Science fiction. It is a strange apple. A strange red orb, and it seems to be glowing. Look, little people are coming out of it. Are they maggots, or are they from another world? Wait, I know maggot language. <laughs> You've been smoking some of this as well, I think. Yeah. Neighbours. Ah, jeez, Adam. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know the apple had borne my child. <laughs> it was three. Uh, That's all you're getting on that one. <laughs> Western. Get dramatic in Western. I've never seen a man before. <laughs> we don't get men and men around these parts. No, nor do I. <laughs> you say your name was? I'm the Apple King of the West. See these two apples? <laughs> I got bananas, too. Okay, but you ain't got no serpent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sure miss... You sure kiss mighty fine. Yeah, I miss and I kiss. Uh. I do everything fine. My name is Hunk Tonk Eve. <laughs> Okay, thank okay. you very much. Let's end that up. Thank you. Uh, uh, right. Uh, that scores 133 each, oddly enough. And uh, now we come to Ryan and Mike. Uh, I'll give you your situation in just a moment. More, more film and theatre styles? Horror! Didn't you say that last time? <laughs> Did I not write it down? Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams, hang on. Horror, Tennessee Williams, much the same, isn't it? Bordville. Vaudeville. All oh, right. Blankety bank. That's it. You, get a, you get some good plays, don't you? I can... War and Peace. War and Peace. That was a novel the last time I read it. I <laughs> no, it's been on the television and indeed a film. It's quite a quiet. All uh, right. Your situation is uh, two people on a plane. We've obviously got airplanes in America and people. So uh, yes. So where you go? I'll give you some styles as we go along. Sir, I'm afraid you're going to have to take your seat. We're about to depart. Oh, excuse me. I get so darn nervous. I, I was going to go to the bathroom. I'll, I'll wait till the sign goes no, off. No, that's fine. Uh, can you I can... get a, a drink before we go up? I know I'm not first class. A little nervous? I... <laughs> yeah. You've heard about the pilot, huh? <laughs> 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 
Tennessee Williams. I say I've ridden from Georgia all the way down to Texas. They call me the Big Bird. I've flown a lot here, but never on this airline before. I hope I, I'm taken well care of. Here's your little old drink. Thank you. But look, out in the wings, engines. <laughs> That's all right, son. <laughs> I remember we had a renegade Apaches on a Cessna 577 a couple of years ago. Look, I hate to ask you this, but it appears our pilot is a little bit under the weather. I wonder if you would mind flying this plane over to Europe. Okay, you just get that. Horror. Why, of course. <laughs> I'd be more than glad to fly the plane. As a matter of fact, why don't you drink this before you do? <laughs> Funny, I... I feel powerful now. <laughs> I feel Step in front of the wheel, my friend. <laughs> Grab the joystick and fly, son. <laughs> We're going to hell. Ah! <laughs> All, right. All right, bit of uh, war and peace. Some epic. <laughs> hey, hey, don't do that, man. <laughs> Chill out, man. Enjoy life, would you? Hey, you know, flying for you is just being high, but for a man like me, a foreign pilot in Vietnam, I need to get a little kill action in before I take off the runway. You know, I was in Nam myself. Yeah? What me, battalion? In the 45th. My, me and my wife both served there. She didn't make it back. The Pussy Willow Tank Corps? You know her? Yes, he was a hell of a soldier. <laughs> you know, Vietnam was the, the best time I ever had. Actually, I had no friends before I went over there. Yeah, I meet a lot of friends, a lot of snakes, a lot of dirt, a lot of little men in black pajamas shooting at me. And you don't think I remember you, do you, my friend? You're the one who left me in that foxhole, aren't you? Don't move! Don't Fun. move! It's don't you! Move. Fung Pit! Yes, it is Fung Pit, my friend. <laughs> this is real dramatic. Let's get us some vaudeville. And go ahead and shoot me, and shoot me to the head, and then you'll throw the plane, because I'll shoot enough again. Hey! Actually, it's not a real... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Inoculator, there were two guys in a United flight. What happened to them? Hey, hell if I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Let's end on that gag. Let's uh, get... Uh, right. Uh, all right. That's very, very good, but under New Zealand rules, you only get one point each. <laughs> now we come to a game called Song Styles. This is going to feature, first of all, Mike McShane. So you'd like to come down, Mike. Uh, Mike's going to make up a song on the spot about, well, about something that somebody's going to suggest to him now, an, an everyday or household object. Anyone got a suggestion? Terry Wogan. <laughs> I don't think he's, he's not quite everyday yet, is he? I don't... A, cheese a cheese grater. That's <clears throat> fine. So a cheese grater. Cheese. And uh, we need a song style, a type boogie of... Boogie. A boogie wiggy. Right, that's a good one. So, uh, Mike, uh, can you sing about cheese grater in a boogie wiggy style? Sure. Take it from now. I got a cheese grater, it really works so fine. I'm grating my fromage from the morning until night. I mix it in the parcel, Lord, it tastes so divine. I said, great, baby, great. I said, great, baby, baby. Uh, working on down from the angel hair to the big thick slabs. I just don't care. I can't get enough of that cheesy stuff. But I'm working on the graves and my knuckles get tough. Uh, 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 Josie doing the same thing, going to be about cheese grater, but we need a different song style for her. German no, I went musical. Oh, German leader. German leader? Are you going for real? German. German. Gem German leader? What's that? Well, <laughs> is it like it's Brecht like, or not? Like Brecht? Well, I... Like Kurt Weill? German, yeah, Kurt Weill, that'll do, fine. Will that do you? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Shreds. Here comes the shredder, and here 
where we stand like lumps of cheddar. <laughs> I really hate this world. I hate the powers of the state who want to great me. I am what I am. The more will they turn me into Certainly the song about cheese grating that Kurt Vile would have written. Um, so we move on to the next game, which is called World's Worst. It features all four contestants who like to come forward onto the World's Worst step. And they have to come up with examples of the world's worst person to be auditioning to be in a soap sud style commercial or advertisement. So just as you think of the ideas, I'll buzz when I've got the idea. Away you go. I'd, uh, I'd really, really uh, like to audition for it because, quite frankly, the taste of soap suds to me is... Mm. Do you want me to do it now? Oh, look. <laughs> it's got bogeys all over. Hello, I really think I'd be super at this soap suds commercial. <laughs> I've got a little stain and I'd like to scrub it out. <laughs> I, I really like to do it and I brought all my underwear because you see I'm not wearing any right now. <laughs> So, okay, you, you put the detergent in. My wife does this crap. I don't do this. <laughs> my, uh, my name's Derek, and I'm going to be doing the commercial, and I hope I don't hurt myself when I slam the lid, if you know what I mean. Huh? <laughs> so what you're saying, right, is this washing machine called Victor, and he fancies me, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very good at watching. Oh, dear. So drop, drop the plane. <laughs> <laughs> So you put the cloak. <laughs> uh, okay, right, very good. Very good, well. All right, all right, I've got, to, I've got to cut you off there because while I work out the points of that round, we break now for some advertisements at home. See you after that. Bye. Welcome back uh, from the advertising break and uh, with the news that there were no points awarded for that last game. And now we go on to a game called uh, Props. They divide into pairs again for this and the first pairing is Neil and Mike. And uh, this is an item you have to come up with as many different ways of using as possible. Uh, while the opposite pairing of uh, Ryan and Josie are coming up with ways of using this item. Okay. All right. Well, you've already broken one. Then. Uh, and I buzz between the two pairings, uh, starting with you, Mike and Neil. Go. Care for a ride on my motor? <laughs> Have you seen my new watch? Oh, don't see it. <laughs> what is it, R2-D2? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ted, the talking film canister. Welcome to me. Oh, look, darling, what a pretty seashell. Hey, I can hear the sea. Me too. <laughs> There's been quite a lot of inflation in this country. These are two pound coins. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here we go, sir. Double king size condom in the handy wrapper pack. <laughs> hey, stop over here. Hey, baby. Construction work. It's a construction work. What? Yes. 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 Very good. Let's end there. I don't think I don't think we're going to improve on that. More's the pity. So let's end there. And um, now we come to um, I think we come to yes we come to a game called film dubbing, which unusually is going to feature all four contestants. So we'd like to come forward where you can see the monitor. The idea of this game is that we've got a bit of film from which the soundtrack has been removed, and they have to add a, a new wacky soundtrack. And the situation I'd like to give you to do is you, you have a couple of flatmates uh, talking about two extra friends are going to be joining you in the house. Look, Derek and John will be here in just five minutes. Don't you think you should well, go... I don't know. I don't, I don't like the things they wear. Look at the... Oh. The things they wear, why don't you take a look at yourself? <laughs> what, don't you like the satin? 
Huh? Satin? You call that satin? That's burlap, my friend. You should be ashamed of the way you... Oh, boy. But man, I tell you, the back flat's great, but the refrigerator's too small. Yeah, you tell him, honey. Now listen. Get away from me, you big man. Come on, come on. We can share a bed. Oh, I'm having trouble with me curling Come on, chocolate. come on. Come on. I just killed Bob. Oh, the hey. curling chocolate. Hey, well, you well, stole well. my soap from the shower. Oh, I told you, Jared. Oh, I would hate that. Oh, bugger him. Oh, I like you. Oh, I feel sick. I shouldn't have had that billy on. <laughs> For goodness sake, you shouldn't go to that barber again, you know. Look, why don't you just... What? Well... <laughs> Why don't you just go put on that little lacy number that you have in your back? <laughs> okay, that's, uh, uh, there you go. All right, so... Yes. Uh, well, um, I want to be very fair about this and objective, so I'll give everyone the same points, except double points to anybody who's female. So now we uh, go to a game called... F oh, no, I've done that one. Party Quirks we now play. This features Neil Malarkey as the host of a party. The other is coming down ready, too early, really, but never mind. The others behind him have got in their envelopes, in the envelopes in front of them, a strange quirk or tray that has been allocated to them by members of the studio audience, or based on selections, suggestions made by them. And Neil has to guess what the, uh, those quirks are. You've seen the game before, no doubt. So, Neil, you're it, eager, eager to come, come down. Early, yeah, oh, never come too early. Now, uh, Neil, 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 uh, come down here. The other guests can be coming in from the other side. And uh, I'll be bringing them in with the sound of my doorbell. So, uh, where you go? <coughs> Lovely. I think I have a drink myself. Oh, here's the first one. <laughs> They're eager, aren't they? Hey, Hi. how are you, Neil? Fine. Hey, sorry I'm late. I ran all the way. Boy, my leg's tired, you know? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sure they are. Would you like a drink or a sandwich? Yes, I would. Thanks very much. That'd be great. Sorry, I got some notes written on here, <laughs> right. you know? Uh, I see. Uh, you, are you... Sorry the wife couldn't make it, you know, but uh, you've heard what happened to her, huh? Yes, I did. She got run over by a kidney stone. <laughs> well, you heard that one before? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, oh, it's all men, is it? Not it's... anymore. <laughs> I all think. <right>, then. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, just take the In, weight off your feet, why not? Out. Oh, we... And push. Hey, and... what is this, a guest yes. or an oil painting? You are you what I'm saying here? Are you, uh, Sarah Ferguson? Oh, no, no. No, you must be, uh... Are you the green goddess or anything like that? No, no, no you're No, I'm all right. I'll just diamonds. breathe. I'll just breathe. It'll... Hey, this is fine. why some species eat their young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Neil, what up, man? Hey, all right, give me the drink. All right, you got chicks, it's great. Mm. Listen, I gotta get back to Wembley Field because we're loading out. Do you mind if I do a little tootski? <laughs> You must be an announcer on Radio 4, then. Hey, looks like we're both doing bad lines, huh? Hey, 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 hey. Right. hey Did I load you in at the arena about five months ago? Or hey, remember you? What is that? Oh, what? 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 Whoa, oh, yeah. Yeah. You, must be, uh, you must be a roadie. Yes, yeah. well done. Yes, you've got your... Yeah. Okay, ten seconds to get the other two. Uh, yes. What do I do now? <laughs> yeah, you should know. <laughs> well, you're here to tell me, That's right. You? You'll uh, do this a lot. Oh. Are you sure that helps? I don't know. Are you pregnant? Oh, yes, yes, that'll do. That's fine. Yes, you come to her. Yeah. Me and the people you meet when you don't have a gun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> when you don't have a gun? Okay, what last, happens last when cousins marry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Last guess, Neil. Yes, you must be. You hear they, uh, you uh, hear they uh, put another uh, wing on uh, London Hospital there? Yes. I They're never going to get that sucker to fly. You know what I'm saying, Neil? Neil? You know what I'm saying? You must be Tony Blackburn. No, man. Yeah, that'll do. That's so close. That'll do. Very good. Yes. Yes, it was... Um, um, the actual improvisation was a bad stand-up comedian, but uh, I'm sure Tony Blackman wouldn't mind me saying... Well, I suppose he would, so I won't say it. So, there, there it is. Uh, 57 points to Neil there, and 3 million to everybody else. So, we now come to a game called American Musical, and in this, all four contestants make up an American Musical based on the life of somebody here in the studio audience, and with the assistance of Richard Vranch on the piano. And there's somebody in the studio audience I'll go and have a chat to uh, while the others get ready to do that. So, um, I don't know, this chap here and this, uh, you seem to be pointing at him here, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> your friend of his? Yeah. Yes, okay, uh, what, what's your name, please, right. first of all? John Day. John Day, right. Yeah. Now, uh, can you tell me um, a hobby that you like doing, or something you like doing? Uh, World War II aeroplanes. World War II aeroplanes? Yes, yeah. yeah. It's been a dull 40 years, obviously, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 something... <laughs> something that you have an ambition to do, something other than that, other than World War II aeroplanes. Um, Wind poles. Win the pools, yeah. right? Fair enough. And uh, uh, something you dislike? Uh, work. Work. Yeah. And, and what is your job? Any... 
Well, I'm a caretaker in the school. Caretaker, fair enough. So there it is, the, uh, the improvisation. The American musical has to be about World War II aeroplanes, uh, a caretaker in a school, and winning the pools. Oh, come in, Miss Havisham. I'm just putting the finishing touches on this P-51 Mustang. Possibly one of the fastest planes in World War II. Oh, you know, I used to find everything that you did so interesting. But now I don't. And you know why? Why? Everything's fine. I resign today. I've got one thing to say. I think you're boring. <laughs> To explain your plane, and now I've won the pools, and so I'm leaving. <laughs> well, you think that I'm kind of dull and I'm a fool and not interesting? I do. Maybe you'd find me more alive if you saw my leather underdressing. Wow! I'm sorry. Oh shit! Come on. Oh. Excuse Josie, me. how are you? Oh, I'm fine. It's been thank years you. since our divorce. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gee, you, you haven't won any money lately, have you? I'm a little bit down on my luck. No. Oh. Tell us about it then. I've had to take a job as a caretaker, looking after kids down at school. Down at school. Teachers like me just fine, but the kids hate my guts. They why. think I'm some kind of fool. Some kind I'm of fool. But if I had some money, I could get myself up. Start all over. Gee, you wouldn't have any of you. I'm sorry, honey, though the sky is sunny and my nose is runny. I'm sorry, honey, I haven't any money, money, money for you. No, she don't. No, oh, she don't. Well. No, she don't. Oh, well, thanks anyway. Is this your new husband? Hey! <laughs> look! You've won a million pounds and I've got a huge tech to prove it! Oh, thank you! Oh, look, it's Mr. Happy Man! Yes, you've won the pools. Won the pools, 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 pools. Money, yes, you've won it. You won by the right rules, rules, rules. Oh, you know no more do I give a toss. Huh? Since I... Put in that magical cross. <laughs> oh, get down on all fours. I've got all four scroll draws for you. <laughs> I'll be your dog as long as you're rich. I'm rich, boys. I'll be your husband, you stupid bitch. I'm here, boys. And I just like a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, excellent. Absolutely excellent. And uh, just scoring out, I take out the points and I see that uh, Ryan Stiles is this week's winner. So well done, Ryan. So, uh, and uh, the prize for winning is to do the credits in the style of my choosing, and Ryan will do it in the style of Clint Eastwood. So it just remains for me to thank uh, Ryan Stiles, Josie Lawrence, Neil Malarkey, Mike McShane, and Richard Francis, me, Clive Anderson, saying good night. Good night. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Who directed the show? Well, we haven't quite come up to that yet. The studio supervisor was Dick Hubbard. The videotape editor was Mykola Pulak. I think she worked on one of my films once. The makeup artist is Ivana Perkamek and Mekinemek, which is some sort of foreign name. I don't really like foreigners. Our production manager was Carrie Fletcher. I'm going out with her now that I've split with the other blonde bimbo I was with. And of course, our producer is Dan Patterson. And does he feel lucky? <laughs>